comes down to who's doing the demoing. So we make sure we have extremely knowledgeable and enthusiastic people doing the demos if it's not us. So we, we do it all internally. Um, I haven't had much experience with outsourced demoing, so it could be great, but right now we're doing it internally and doing a huge amount of training with everyone who we bring in to do it and making sure they understand every aspect of our business, not just the product in terms of the company history and the ultimate goals. And I think it's always great for someone to come up in, in a store and try the product, but then learn more about the bigger picture vision of the company and interact with the founders and not just be told, there's a protein bar that has like 10 grams of protein and this amount of sugar, because that, that's not interesting for people. Yeah, I mean, we really try and do most demos ourselves or at least have one of us there with somebody else just because um, I think now it was a, somebody told us a quote the other day that now's the time to do things that just can't scale and that's the kind of thing where obviously as we get bigger Gabby and myself aren't going to be able to like go to every demo that's happening but right now we can and we can touch basically every store that we're in and so there's no reason why we shouldn't be doing that I mean it's, it's, it's great for us the customers really appreciate it so yeah, and that's a broader philosophy that permeates um, a lot of our business decisions. So we send customers personal emails and occasional phone calls, and we gather feedback that way, which when we do it, customers are so surprised to get an email or a phone call from a company founder, mm-hmm. and they're so grateful, and they send such amazing letters of support in return. But that's something that obviously we can't do forever. But right now, it has tremendous value, and it increases their ability to market our product by word of mouth because they want to tell this great story.